This is 6 News at Sunrise. Coverage you can count on. Live look through our Altoona cam this morning. This is a very pretty shot for you at 630. Yeah. 19 degrees outside. It's really nice to talk about temperatures where I don't have to say negative before. So uh, that's very pleasant, I'd say. Good morning. Glad you're start starting your day off with six days at sunrise. Today is Wednesday, February 25th. The little things that we have to enjoy Especially and appreciate. this February, yeah. that's for sure, because it's been so cold and so much snow and almost every day we've had uh, school delays and cancellations. Not today. Yeah, that's it's, good. it's, it's miserable. a nice day. They're doing it all in honor of you. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Warm things up a little bit. We may see some negative numbers in the forecast again by the end of the week, but the seven day looks pretty good. Yeah, a few snow showers across the area on early warning Doppler 6 radar. Again, there are frontal passage snow showers and far and few and far between. You get over to I-99 off to the east. You may even see a little more sun than we we're here in the Laurel Highlands. Any accumulations for the next few days? Just nuisance stuff. Break out the broom. 19 Johnstown, Dubois, 20 Altoona, 23 in Indiana. And we have temperatures above zero as far as the wind chill is concerned. And that's good news today. It's not nearly as harsh. Winds are out of the west, 22 miles per hour Johnstown. And we're also looking at your school day forecast where temperatures this afternoon won't be all that different from where they are now. But we'll gradually start to slide toward the single digits through this evening. And it's going to be a rather cold night again tonight in the single digits. That's your forecast. Bill, I just want to say my piece here. You have been a great guy to work with. We've made that trip over the mountain how many times and counted yeah, the times really. we demolished That's cars right. on exactly. Michigan Wildlife. Yeah, exactly. But uh, the, uh, the other issue is that newsrooms, I'm a forecaster. I stay here. This is my area. I don't work in the newsroom. I go to the newsroom once a day, do a walkthrough to let people know I'm still alive. <laughs> and when I walk in, it's either dead calm, there's nothing going on, or it's chaos. That's yeah. the way this business yeah. is. Yeah. But there's always you. Cool. Oh, people can I don't be. Know about that. People can be losing it, but you're Mr. Cool. Yeah. That's the it's same true. way on the set too. Yeah. Well, let me just say about you. This guy, <laughs> what you see is, is the same person in person. <laughs> he is funny. He is a delight to be around all <laughs> the is. time. Always Most puts a smile on your face. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And it, we've we've worked together for a long time. Yeah, I think about 16 years now. And yeah. I, there was a time I Off did evenings. I, I didn't like doing evenings. I'm a morning person. I'm glad to be back here. I have one thing to say to you as you head off. Otherwise, keep in touch. But live large. Love life. Somebody will fill that seat. Nobody fills the white tennis shoes. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank yeah. you, Jim. Thank you very much. This. Uh, well, I don't even want to get into what a good friend he has been yeah. all through the years, but we're, we're going to move into something else now. New at sunrise, salt and brine all over the roads trying to keep us safe with the snow and ice, but could it be damaging our cars? All right, Chris Standish talked to an expert and joins us live now with more on how you can save your car from any kind of trouble. Erica? Now, while the salt is on the roads to keep us safe when we're out driving, you may not realize how damaging it really can be to your car and how it can end up costing you thousands. Now first, if you ever have any warning lights come on in your car, such as the brake or fluid lights, you want to make sure you take it in to double check that everything is running okay. One thing you don't want to have to worry about is why your windshield may be fogging up on the inside. Officials say that happens when you get in the car with snow or slush on your shoes and then it turns the heat on. I'm sorry, and then you turn the heat on, which puts moisture in the air that will settle on the windows. Another thing to remember is that the salt that follows you into your car every time you get in and out. Vacuuming that now and every couple of weeks during the winter months is a good idea to save you money later from buying new mats. Now, road salt and brine can be extremely corrosive to your car and could end up causing rusting on your exhaust, rotors, brake lines, and framing of your car, all from the high amount of calcium in the salt that eats away at the steel. Rusting through usually, I mean, that's, that's, that's a huge amount of money. I mean, even brake lines, you figure from front to back, and there could be thousands of dollars worth of damage. Things like this off your car, all, car, all this extra salt here, and to wash out your wheel wears here, Wills, because you don't want that salt to get stuck and control your driving. Now, before I sign off here, our editor Mike, my photographer Keith, and I would like to wish Bill a happy retirement. It's been great working with you, and we're really going to miss you, Bill. 
Happy golfing. <laughs> Thanks, Erica. <laughs> We've only her. worked with Erica a short time, but she's we'll miss you, Bill. Look at that the message on the car there. <laughs> How appropriate. I see that <laughs> Written now. in salt. Written in salt. <laughs> That's right. They're very nice. Thank well, you. Yeah, ever since uh, Bill announced his retirement several weeks ago, our newsroom has been on the receiving end of countless calls and emails, all of them wishing him the best after all these years. Bill Brown, the mornings just won't be the same without seeing your smiling face in, in as I wake up each morning. Thank you for all you've done for our community over these years. Best of luck in your retirement, and uh, don't be a stranger. Bill Brown, congratulations on your retirement. Over 30 years of coming into our living room's kitchen. You know what? I'm going to miss you. You're irreplaceable, Bill Brown. Bill Brown, you're a class act. We're going to miss you. We hope you enjoy your retirement. It's always an enjoyment getting up in the morning and checking the news out and finding out what's cooking. Now, your severe weather Team 6 forecast in high definition. More Arctic air flying out of the Great Lakes across our area today. Temperatures will be in the 20s, then slide this evening back to the single digits. Good news is this trough gradually lifts out, persistent for weeks, showing signs of moderation in the long term. That snow showers, again, a pretty good batch of snow along Clarion, back toward Butler. It's really insignificant, however. There could be a heavier burst of snow that may cause uh, roads to slicken up in spots. Nothing widely scattered. Here's my seven-day forecast, and there's reason for happiness. 22 today, 8 tonight, 18 tomorrow. Any snow accumulations will be light. Still could cause a slick spot or two on area roads. 14 on Friday, minus 5 Saturday. And we say goodbye to that for a while. We get back into the 30s, even upper 30s, with the chance of rain and snow showers, perhaps a little ice on Sunday evening. But finally, we warm up and get a little wetter. Now I just now it's my turn. I'm trying to hold oh, it together. I'm please. such an emotional person. But anyways, um, it, we started from the beginning, and now it's my turn. And I grew up watching you as well because I'm from Indiana County. And um, I felt so silly crying about this. But um, <laughs> I, I used to watch you and Sarah Burgett. She's now Sarah Cameron. Uh -huh. And I never mentioned that to you because I didn't want you to feel, because sometimes you feel like, <laughs> oh, no, I'm so old. old. Everybody says that they're so much younger than me. But um, I know you're a very humble person. And I know you don't believe it, but you really did teach me a lot. And I did learn a lot from you. And um, it's you been a pleasure. A you're you my, came in here. I did. But you're my first co-anchor, just like a lot of the other ones have mentioned. And it's been amazing working with you. And it's sad to see you go. <laughs> He's crying, too. We're like just a bunch of <laughs> silly people here. Please. But I mean, it's. It's true. All those things that everybody has said about you is true. He's a great person. He's great to work with. He's very, very smart. And, um, you know, definitely <laughs> take a stretch, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely enjoy golfing because I know that's something you mention often. And you know, just really enjoy your time together with your family. Um, you know, my dad retired last year, and the first thing he says, he's just like, it was the greatest thing he ever did, and I'm sure you'll feel that way. And it's so nice to know that you don't have to set your alarm clock tomorrow <laughs> at 3 in the morning, and you can sleep in, even though I know it's tough for us anyways. But still, just enjoy it. Enjoy life. Go home and hit so much to live. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, exactly. There, there's lots of things about well, not a lot of things. There are a couple of things that I'll not miss, and that's making the drive over and <laughs> yeah. getting on up the at mountain. three o'clock. Yeah. How many yeah. cars we hit? Red. And wearing makeup. That just never. Ends. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, putting but makeup early in the morning. You guys, I'm going to miss you guys a lot. Yeah. I mean, yes. I spend every morning you know, with you guys. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it it has been fun just sitting here talking and those are the know, moments talking about different things, like they said before in the commercial breaks. I mean, that's when you know all the fun is. That's we'll right. have dinner. We'll uh, do Fort Ligonier days. Yeah, Just, that's yeah. right. There yeah. you go. I'm He's not like too a, far away. I'm a bad rash that won't go away. So, yeah. <laughs> now, we've been hearing from some of the women who share the anchor desk with Bill, and now it's time for some of those who work side by side with him each and every day. Congratulations, Bill, on 32 years at WJC. Congratulations, Bill, on your retirement. 
Enjoy your golf and go Penn State. Hey Bill, I haven't had the pleasure of working with you for that long, but it's been an absolute honor. I wish you all the best and happy retirement. Good luck, Bill. I know you won't miss those early morning trips across the mountain too much, but we're sure gonna miss you around here. Good luck, Bill, on your retirement. It's been 15 years I've been here working with you and uh, I've enjoyed every minute of it. Hey Bill, it's great to have you here and great to work with you and uh, all the best in retirement. It was an honor meeting you and I hope you enjoy your retirement and have a great time golfing. Uh, hopefully another 33 years in your next endeavor. All the best. Growing up watching you in the morning and then getting to work with you has been fantastic and I wish you the best of luck. I wish you the best and I hope your retirement is everything that you want it to be. Good luck. Hey Bill, I just want to wish you a congratulations. Thanks for helping me in the morning. I really appreciate it. Enjoy your time off. Bill, it's been a pleasure working with you and I wish you a happy and healthy retirement. Congratulations on retirement. Second, sorry it took so long, but you finally have that mug back with you this morning. And third, see that forecast behind me? Me and you this summer, my friend, all summer long, lots of golfing. Good luck, enjoy your retirement, and make sure you hit them hard and hit them straight. Congratulations, Bill, on your retirement. Good luck. You've been an absolute pleasure to work with. Congratulations, enjoy your retirement. You're already missed. I wish you nothing but the best, you and your family, and, and Bill. Hit them good out there, and hopefully we can get out and play around. Working with a professional like you, that's what makes this business so great to work in. I hope you have a wonderful retirement. Congratulations on making it this far. Enjoy some well-deserved time off. Congratulations to you. Happy retirement. Your presence will be missed in the newsroom, on the air, and throughout the community. Hey, have a great retirement. I remember when I met Bill Brown. He was down at the studio teaching a young Marty Radovanic how to comb his hair and read a teleprompter. Mornings won't be the same. We'll miss you, Bill. Good luck. Bill, it's been a pleasure uh, knowing and working with you over the past uh, 15, almost 16 years that I've been here. Hi, Bill. Congratulations on your career. Have a happy retirement. Congratulations on your retirement and best of luck. And though I'm sad to see you go, I wish you all the best in your retirement. Have fun. Bill, thank you for your 32 years of service here at WJC. And I know you're going to be playing a lot of golf, so I get at least three aside. Enjoy retirement, buddy. You are. Congratulations. And the WJAC wow, team. To everyone. Oh my goodness. From the News and Promotions Department to Administrative Sales and Master Control, made up of 70 people. Couldn't believe that. I can't believe that's that many. Bill, you may be retiring, but you'll always be a part of her family. We'll be right back with a very special send off just for you. Well, for several weeks, we've been surprising Bill with a lot of his past stories, stories that he doesn't even remember, but that obviously have made quite an impact on not just us, but our viewers. And the surprises don't end there. They continue even at 648 this morning. All right. And you're probably wondering, why do we bring this chair up? And there's an well, open I, space there. Let's to me. bring out some people that are very close to Bill. Guys, come on out and let's uh, farewell, give a nice farewell to Bill and People they coming? that you'll long remember. They're coming. Right They're coming. All right, come on out, guys. <laughs> they chose not to come. This is live <laughs> TV. Are. Anything can oh. happen. There they are. There they are. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you, guys. All of his former co-anchors, workers. Oh. And a cake. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. Can I set that up yeah. Oh, jeez. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, I, t I can't even begin to, to say this. Thank you, Stu. Oh, Hi. Yeah. And Bill. <laughs> Good morning, Bill. Good morning. It was fun watching um, all of the clips and everything. And it seemed like you guys were having a good time, too. So I, I don't get to thank you all in person. Thank you for all of that. I mean, I wasn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they're making this big of a deal, but thank you. Well, 32 years is a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I told Jim when he told me a couple months ago, he goes, for Bill, I will get up this early again. <laughs> Normally, though, I'd be making breakfast for my son right now, but before school, but yes, for, for you, I would come up again, because I, I feel we all think that you're important enough to get up this early for thank him to you. come back and, and wish you all the best. 
And I still miss our political banter. <laughs> I am, I am so hopeful I. that Kathy will show you how to use Facebook. Oh, yes. <laughs> I will. Keep, keep Twitter going, Bill. Uh, he was kicked off for a moment, but he's back and, on. And this is your chance, finally, to, to get on the PGA Tour, so. <laughs> it's going to have to be the Champions Tour. But, uh. Well. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the presence of royalty this morning. Oh my God! I mean, this is quite a send-off. This is wonderful, and you deserve every second. I'm flabbergasted, really. Oh. Thank you, though. You know, I got to say one thing. I remember years and years ago when we were doing this that somebody brought in a little thing called a cell phone, and you said, "I'll never get one of those." I'll never have one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure you still don't have one. The one I have is, is from 1965. I think so. Flip phone. <laughs> Bill, you know, you were talking about being flabbergasted and all that, and that's really why we're all here, because you are the consummate professional. It's never been about you. It's been about serving the viewers, and you have been awesome for 32 years. Bob, thank it's you. It's been an honor to be a colleague. I'll tell you what, I can't, I haven't seen this guy for a long time, and it's really good to see you, Bob. Good to see you. Billy? Always steady and professional, you are the man. And, you know, I treasure your friendship so much. And unlike some of those folks in here, I get to see you quite often because we still get together uh, with Kathy and, and, uh, and my wife, Holly. We get to go out, and we're going to continue to do that. Yep. And we once said we got to keep getting together. We never see one another. And I can tell all of you advice. Make an, a priority to get together because our yeah. friendship means so much. So well, I'm glad thank you. we're going to continue to do what we've always done. Thank you. I'm going to turn this way so it'll turn my back to everybody. <laughs> I just want to say everybody thinks you're a great guy. <laughs> I want to bring it back to reality. Look at all the women you have driven out of. <laughs> Pushed out of the business. That's true. That's it's funny. been a pleasure. I got to mention Joe. I did, I did a half hour special one time. I thanked everybody in the world and his brother, and I left Joe out of the credit. He has never let me forget that. <laughs> That's right. He did all the work, got no credit. Good job, Daddy Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Al. Hey, Bill. Hey. Yeah, so good to see you. you I've too. always enjoyed working with you, and I'm sorry. I used to hum all the time. It's a small world. <laughs> I miss that. You miss my humming? Yes. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I don't miss those that teleprompter thing where we used to push the, oh. the, the very edge, and I'd be there and I'd bring you pieces of the show down at a time, and I'd be yes. taping there on the floor. It was just... <laughs> this is Mary Heinlein. She used to work in our newsroom, and she, we have a, a window in our newsroom. She was the newsroom. That's exactly yes. right. Yes, did they get that window? Six months after I left. <laughs> she lobbied for a window for I don't know how many years. We finally got one, and, and right after she retired. She retired. <laughs> yeah, thanks. So it was wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful working with Thank you. Thank you all. Despite the nightmares with the teleprompter. Oh my gosh, I am just I can't believe it. I'm. Thank you so much. I don't know where we are right now or how close we are. We have some time, so if you want to say something else. We have else. someone else we well, want to talk to here. Ron. Ronnie Rehm. Ron! Ron. Ron. <laughs> <laughs> I snuck in the back. Yeah. It, it's been a pleasure over the years, uh, um, getting up in the middle of the night and going out and doing stuff for the early morning shows. Honest, breaking news was a lot of fun for me. And, and, and you uh, did it very well. And we had, uh, I hate to say, a good time in the news business, but we really did. And, and it was a lot of fun. And uh, I hope you keep enjoying life. You talk about consummate professional, this guy over here. I don't know how many female reporters he worked with, but they all loved him. And they all keep in touch with him. He knows everything about their families and kids. And Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't tell my wife. <laughs> so how much, how much time do we have here? A minute and a half. Uh, we have a minute and a half. So you have plenty okay. of time to say what you need to say, Bill. All right. Well, I did want to say something here. For uh, the better part of 30 years, I have sat behind this desk, or at least one like it. And over that time, the way the news is gathered and disseminated has changed. I don't know. I can't even express how much it's changed. But for instance, when I started, we used typewriters, as, as Lindsay mentioned. And, and we shot our stories on cassettes that were about the size of an encyclopedia. And now our stories, of course, are shot digitally and we're produced and edited on computer. And what you see on the air is only part of what we do now. There's also a website and Facebook page and Twitter account. Pretty much that technology has passed me by years ago. But <laughs> the one thing that hasn't changed about this business is the people. Uh, the people who work very hard in front of the camera and those who work behind it. And you met many of them today. Many of them are standing behind me right now. 
And so as I sit here on my last Sunrise broadcast, those are the memories that I'll take away with me. Uh, I have had the incredible good fortune of working with this special group of talented, smart, creative, funny people, co-anchors, weather people, Lindsay and Jim just being the, the latest in that line. They have all made my mornings fun and interesting. And who wouldn't want to spend two hours every morning with people like this? Uh, and I had the great fortune to be able to do that. And then there are the people behind the scenes, uh, people like John back there and Sarah and Rick and Kevin and, and the control room people, Mike Suey over here on camera, Vic in front of me, uh, all of them, consummate professionals. But more importantly, they are people who became really good friends to me. And then there's you, the viewer. For my entire career, you were always supportive and kind. But in the last month, I have received so many warm and touching cards, emails, Facebook postings from so many folks. So to all of you, all of you, and all of you I just mentioned, I can only say thank you. And you have no idea how much it has meant to me. And now, um, as I say farewell, well, I, I add only one thing because I promised my daughter, Abby, that I would do it. <laughs> Stay classy, Allegheny Region. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>